What is going on everybody and welcome back to the Frames Yank of Vapor channel. We're back at you guys for another review and today we've got another mechanical mod to take a look at and I'm excited to talk about it because I've heard a lot of hype about the original version of this mod from my main man Overdrip aka Uncle Chris if you guys haven't heard him talk about this on the green room. But we got something in from Hell Vape and it is the Trishel V2 guys. Shout out to my man Stan Tenacious TX for sending this my way. Let me check this thing out. Of course, I do want to say disclaimer. I am missing a few things when it comes down to the packaging here because I do have the demo packaging, guys. But if you do purchase one of these, you will get everything that is listed on the back of the contents of this box here. With all that being said, guys, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to jump down to the table, give you guys a quick look around the box and what packaging and stuff that I do have here. And of course, I am going to give you guys a full breakdown of the mod, showing you guys the ins and outs of the tube, completely breaking down the switch and showing you guys how this magnetic constant contact is going to work and all that good stuff and then once all that's said and done we're going to jump back up top and then give you guys my pros cons and final thoughts so with anything else being said let's just go ahead and get to it jump down the table take a closer look at the trishal v2 from hell vape and we'll see you guys down low And here we are, guys, down low with the Trishel V2 by Hell Vape. So, of course, let's talk about this. Full disclosure here, guys, for the down low. I will say I did get this secondhand from Stan after he did his review. This is a demo version. So there are some things that are not going to be shown here in this video that you will get in the packaging, like a user's manual, warranty card, and stuff like that there. So just want to put that out there for you guys. But I do want to give you kind of a quick look around what the packaging may look like that you guys will receive. You do have Hell Vape up at the top there with Trishel V2 mech mod at the bottom with an image of the device device itself there it does come with an engraving of that Trisha logo on one side of the mod over here on this side kind of gives you an idea of what the mod's going to look like there kind of have like some heat sink fins going on there with a little bit of some facets going on here looks like it starts off at a 25 at the top tapers down to a 27 at the bottom so fit anywhere up to a 25 millimeter flush at the top and of course like i said makes it a little bit wider down at the bottom at a 27 millimeter there over here on this side gives you guys a complete breakdown of the switch here guys and as you can see we've got a lot going on here guys this is a constant contact magnetic switch so of course i will give you guys a complete breakdown and show you guys what all these individual pieces are here and then of course on the back of the packaging it does say trishal v2 mech mod gives you guys all the features there as well as the kit contents of course you got the uh, trishal mech mod 18650 battery adapter uh, you'll get your magnets, your silicone grommets, O-rings, uh, metal gaskets, user's manual and warranty card and all that good stuff. And of course, you do have all your warning symbols down here at the bottom. And up at the top, it does say, invoke your vape genius. So of course, let's open this up and check out the Trishal V2 itself. So, of course, I do have the brass rendition going on here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and set that box off to the side. So I do have the full brass rendition here. As you guys can see there, you do have that Trishel logo engraved on the one side here. Of course, nothing else going on on the rest of the tube there. You do have these kind of sort of heat sink fin looking engravings going up here at the top, which I do say makes it kind of look pretty classy if I do say so myself. And you do also have that taper from the 25 millimeter diameter at the top and it tapers down as you guys can see here out to a 27 at the base which actually makes it for a very very comfortable grip up at the top you do say uh, Trishel V2 engraved right there as well as some warning symbols there you do have some battery venting as you guys can see there and a hybrid connection so you definitely want to make sure you have a static protruding 510 pin when he goes to use this thing here guys and of course like I said 25 millimeter RDAs will fit nice and flush up at the top here guys and then, like I said, 27 at the bottom, which makes for a really nice grip, I do say. I do enjoy that. Of course, down here at the bottom, you do have that Hell Vape logo engraved on the switch itself, which this thing here is, of course, the, that constant contact magnetic switch. And as you guys can see there, it's kind of got sort of a click action going on there, which we'll get to here in a second because we're going to go and check out the inside of the tube first. You do have on the inside you will get your spares so you'll get like some extra uh o-rings some extra magnets you'll get a little extra uh like ga a metal gasket or what they're calling it or like a little metal washer that i'll show you what you'll use that for here in a second and of course this little grommet as you guys can see here that can be replaced if need be and then you also get your 18650 battery adapter because you can use anything up from a 18650 up to a 21700 inside of this thing here and of course, on the inside of the tube, you do have a nice Delrin sleeve on the inside, completely 
uh, encasing the inside of the tube here on all sides and then you do have a little bit of a disc up there at the top it doesn't completely cover the uh, entire top of that there but it does give you a nice little base there so the top of your battery around right here actually has a little bit of some insulation so you do have a little bit of a gap before you run into that positive end hitting up there or anything like that so i do like that little bit out of protection there guys but of course still want to check your battery wraps for any nicks tears dings dents anything like that so of course that's pretty much as it everything that's uh there to talk about for the tube so let's go ahead and take a look at the switch itself so of course this is a constant contact guys so this piece right here will be making consistent contact with the negative or positive end of your battery just like so and it will not fire until you completely compress the switch down and those two uh firing plates right here of course the one right here making contact with the battery and then the one at the bottom of the switch making contact underneath that right here once these two connect that completes your circuit and then you're off and vape in there so of course you do have just this rubber gasket that is holding this top contact in right there and it does compress down for any uh, battery rattle or anything you may run into there and of course underneath that you'll take this apart and this is where all the magic happens here guys because you do have two magnets on the inside of here that are actually attracting to each other when the switch is uh, is not engaged like so so they're attracting to each other and then of course once you compress this down, it'll actually allow the magnets to break apart. And then that's what that click is, is the magnet separating and allowing you to completely compress that switch. And then of course, making contact with those two contact points. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew my contact here, which I just have nice and finger tight. Shouldn't be much tighter than that, guys. That way you can make any adjustments that may be needed. And of course, once you take this out, That'll allow the rest of your button to fall out the bottom there. And then, of course, you do have your two magnets left on the inside of the switch there. There's also supposedly supposed to be a, uh, a conical spring on the inside of this switch here, which I don't seem to see on the inside of mine here. But, of course, this is a demo, so I don't know if that's something that uh, was taken out or whatnot. But uh, that is what it is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take out this bottom magnet here. Just like so, but be very careful when you do this, guys, because these magnets can break very easily. So we're going to go ahead and set that one off to the side there. And then once you do that, the top one will fall out just like so. And then you do have this little tiny little washer underneath this top magnet here, guys, which is actually sits into this little section there. You can see it's got a little bit of an outline of where this is just going to drop into place just like so. And then once it finds its spot, it just kind of sits right in there. And this was actually was what's going to allow those two magnets to separate and allow you to completely compress the switch in. So you, this is very key, guys, because if you lose this piece, your mod will start to auto fire. So you want to make sure that this piece is always there. You do have a little O-ring in there as well to kind of help with uh, placing this magnet in there. As you guys can see in that magnet just sits right on top of that o-ring there and of course it just keeps it nice and separated just enough from the uh other magnet down here at the bottom that of course is going to attract that down like so and then this button here as you guys can see does have two flattened ends here and what you'll do is you'll just drop this into place and then just kind of give it a spin until it finds its spot and then of course that'll fall into place there and then you take your pin and then screw this back down. Of course, like I said, finger tight is about all you need to be, guys. You don't need to crank this thing down because it will make it harder to adjust or take apart later. Of course, if you need some assistance, you can get in there with like your little screwdriver or your tweezers. And of course, you can screw that down just like so. And then you just pop your little gasket over just like that. And that's pretty much what you got going on here, guys. Pretty simple. A little different sort of switch going on here with the way that the magnets are working, uh, attracting to each other instead of uh, going against each other, which is something that we normally see. But very nice switch. I got to say, I do kind of like the sort of tactile click action that's going on there, which isn't as uh, as drastic once you get a battery in the mod and all that good stuff there, guys. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and throw a Molosel P42A21700 in. I rock it positive end up because that's where most of the venting is here. Go ahead and screw the switch down just a little bit. Grab our RDA. I've been rocking a gold Turk V2 just because it looks pretty damn clean on top of this. Of course, this is 25 millimeters in diameter, and it fits very nicely on there, as you guys can see. You can almost take up to a 26 here, guys, but you will have a little bit of a sort of bevel going on there. And, of course, once you get that down, you can screw this down. 
no battery rattle whatsoever and then of course once you compress the switch down boom you have the vapors just like so guys and as you can see once you get a battery in there it's not as drastic of a click but there is still a slight click going on there so that's pretty much the ins and outs of the Trishel V2 from Hellvape. So let's go ahead and jump back up top and give you guys my pros, cons, and final thoughts. So we'll see you guys up top. And here we are, guys, back up top with the Trishel V2 by Hellvape. So let's go ahead and talk about it, give you guys some of my pros, some of my cons. 100% my opinion, guys, so take that for what it is. I'm going to start off with the fit and finish, as I always do. Got to slay pretty slick looking tube if i do say so myself guys i actually do kind of enjoy the little heat sink fins going on here as well as the taper from a 25 at the top to a 27 at the bottom as well as like kind of little facet actions going on here at the sides pretty nice looking tube if i do say so you do have that nice engraving going on there it's very nicely done very smooth no jagged edges on any of the engravings or anything that's going on here so definitely a good old job when it comes down to the overall just looks and just very comfy in the hand as well guys this thing is just very comfortable in my hand because my hand just kind of lines up right there where that taper kind of starts and just right there in the middle reach down kind of grab onto that switch and it's very comfortable in the hand guys that's one thing i've really enjoyed about this is just the overall ergonomics and hand feel of this thing of course the fact that it will accommodate a 25 millimeter is very nice as well but i will say you could probably even maybe fit a 26 on here as well guys you will have that little bit of a kind of like indentation underneath your addy because of the slight taper that's going on there at the top but i will say you might be able to fit a 26 but of course with the 25 it does look pretty damn slick with that turk b2 on there that's definitely going to be a pro. True hybrid connection, so you don't have any hybrid top caps or anything going on with this. So you're not going to be lo losing any voltage through any extra threading or anything like that, which is going to add to the overall performance of this thing here. And just the overall machining as well, guys. The threading on this is beautifully done. No issues when it comes down to that. Love the added protections that they added in uh, on the inside of the tube as well with that like Delrin sleeve encasing the entire sides of the tube as well as that kind of like little disc that they added at the top of like the 510 connection there to add for a little bit of extra, you know, kind of just a little bit of a buffer there for the positive or negative end of your battery there, guys. So that's definitely going to be a big pro. Any added safety to mechanical mods going to be a huge, huge pro in my uh in my eyes just because i love mechanical mods and the safer experience i can get out of it the better off we're going to be but of course i cannot stress enough guys you still want to make sure that you're checking your battery wraps for nicks tears dings dents i'm going to tell you anytime i do a mechanical mod video because it is just that important guys and you definitely want to make sure you're using a static protruding hybrid pin when it comes down to this so no, don't want anything that's very flush set no floating pins you definitely want to make sure it's got a nice protrusion coming out there at least a millimeter or so and it's got a nice peak insulator that way you guys can have a safe experience and when it comes down to everything as far as machining goes and just overall fit and finish i did think they did a fantastic job guys and i haven't had any issues with the way that things operate or how everything goes together definitely going to be a good job one thing i also love about this 21 700 constant contact guys We've said this time and time again, it's more of the standard nowadays with the constant contact, which of course, as I've said before, saves your battery from any arcing marks on the negative or positive end of your battery. Of course, any arcing that will be happening will be happening between those two contact points, of course, underneath that contact of your battery and of course the actual pin itself. So every now and then you just break the switch apart, give those a quick little wipe down, get rid of any arcing marks. That'll give you a better overall experience and of course save your batteries from any pitting or arcing on the positive or negative ends. And of course 21700 batteries having the ability to have that little bit of extra mon, a little bit of extra amperage in a mechanical mod is definitely going to be a pro for me and I've definitely been spoiled with these 21700 batteries just because of the overall performance and just longevity and just overall experience that I get out of that. So definitely that about it but also love the fact that you can use a 2700 or 18650 if you want to do so because they do include that adapter one thing i like about this thing guys is actually i wasn't quite sure how i was going to feel about it at first but i found myself really enjoying the click of the switch it's not super super clicky like when the switch is off the mod and there's no battery in it, it definitely has more of a firmer click to it but it definitely has kind of a tactile sort of click to it um, I've definitely uh, enjoyed that with like the Monarch, which is another mechanical mod that's got that nice kind of tactile click to it. I love a nice clicky switch and having that in a mechanical mod is definitely something that I, I'm definitely interested in checking out. And I've actually really been enjoying the way that this thing feels in the hand because as soon as you break those two baguettes apart, it's a nice, very smooth throw, guys. But it does have that kind of like that little bit of a tactile sort of feel to it. When it comes down to the performance of this, 
it hits hard guys it is definitely a nice hard hitting mod of course without it having a hybrid top cap you're not losing any voltage through any extra threading up there and this thing definitely hits nice and hard guys i've got to say i've been thoroughly enjoying the way this thing performs love the way that it feels in the hand it's just a stellar looking tube and i like that nice kind of clicky sort of switch action that you got going on there there's not really much bad things i can say about it because it looks good it hits good it feels good in the hand the switch has got that nice kind of click to it takes 21700 fits a 25 millimeter as far as pros goes guys that's pretty much it hits nice looks nice feels nice and takes 25 pretty damn good deal when it comes down to it so overall pros love this thing love it how it looks love how it performs and that nice kind of click of that switch i've actually kind of grown to love over time the only con that i have on this thing guys is when it comes down to the switch itself and you break this thing apart there is quite a few different pieces that are going along with this thing that you kind of need to keep track of if you were to break this thing down and to go to clean it or anything like that which i almost had a little bit of a mishap myself when i went to break this thing down to polish it up before the video definitely want to make sure you're keeping track of all the little parts and pieces because if you end up lo losing like that little tiny little metal washer you will end up in running to an issue where you put this thing together without it and it will start auto firing or something like that so you want to make sure that you keep track of all these little parts and pieces and you know definitely put your little spare baggies in a nice safe place so if you do end up losing stuff you do have those spares lying around because you may end up needing them over time especially when it comes down to the magnets because over time you may end up breaking one or two uh, depending on how often you take your switch apart which I just say be very very careful when it comes down to taking apart these magnetic switches just take them apart very easily and very slow that way you don't run the risk of the magnet just flying off and snapping onto something and cracking on you or anything like that so that's just only a little con guys is there is quite a few pieces when it comes down to the switch itself but it does not take away from the way that this thing performs the way it looks and just the way it feels in the hand and just I really do enjoy the nice clicky switch that you got going on here guys Big shout out to my man Stan for sending this over my way, giving me the opportunity to do this video for you guys and check out what this Trishel V2 is all about. And I definitely got to say, if uh, this one's as good as it is, I definitely think the, the original one was probably as good as Chris says it was. And I definitely know uh, my man Overdrip's going to be loving this thing, guys. So if you're looking for a 21700 constant contact mod that's got kind of a nice kind of clicky tactile sort of switch, Trishel V2, I highly recommend picking it up, guys. It is definitely a banger. Hits nice and hard, looks pretty stellar, feels very nice in the hand, solid, solid performing mod, guys. So, huge shout outs to Hellvape. I think they did a fantastic job there, guys. With all that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up as we always do. Going to remind you guys check out Vaping with the Omis every Monday on the Vaping with the Omis YouTube channel, 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, with Poon Sauce, McNasty, KVTV, and myself. We'd love to see you guys there. Of course, you guys can send us emails to Vaping with the Omis at gmail.com if you guys got topic ideas, guest ideas, or anything like that. You can also check me out on my channel right here, 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, every Friday for The Green Room with Sean Typhon, Overdrip, and myself. We'd love to see all you guys out there in chat. Of course, big shout-outs to all the Shedheads that tune in every Friday. Of course, you guys can also send us emails to thegreenroom.shedtime at gmail.com. If you guys have any guest ideas, topic ideas, or anything like that you'd like to see on the show, maybe you have a game you'd like to see us play at the end of the show or something like that, send them on in. We'd love to hear from you guys. And, of course, don't forget to check out the Shed Time Podcast over at ShedTimePodcast.com, your one-stop shop for all of our amazing sponsors, for all of our amazing episodes, past and present, to links to all of our amazing guests that we've had on as well. So go over there, go check it out. Make sure you guys go follow the Shed Time Podcast on SoundCloud so you can get entered in for any giveaways that we got coming up. We have a 200 follower giveaway coming up and a 500 follower coming up after that. So with all that being said, guys, we're going to wrap this up as we always do, sending out positive vibes, crisp high fives, and let's just vape on, y'all.